Chateau League organized procession in the campus expressing solidarity with the demand of independent Palestine state. Industries Ministry submits names of 150 GI products to High Court. Bangladesh hires law firm to secure recognition of Tang Al Shari. And campaign of Upajela Pauls ends midnight tonight. Field turbulent. Rizvi alleges none but relatives of MPs and ministers getting opportunities. And now for the details. Bangladesh Chhatra League has expressed solidarity with the ongoing worldwide movement demanding independent Palestine. A large number of students from different educational institutions, including Dhaka University, throng Modhu Canteen under the leadership of Chhatra League President and General Secretary. The protesters held banners and placards with the call of being united against crimes against humanity carried out by Israeli occupation forces in Palestine. A clash took place between two factions of Chattogram Mohsin College Chhatra League centering Palestinian flag hoisting and a road march program. One of the groups of Mohsin College Chhatra League was taking preparations of the program with Palestinian flags in hand while the other group carried out attacks. Ten persons were injured in the incident. Later, police reached the spot and brought the situation under control. Bangladesh government has hired the law firm for legal battle in India for securing GI ownership of the Tangal Shari. Industries Minister has informed this black and white to the High Court bench headed by Justice Mohammed Khurshid Alam Sharkar. At the same time, the ministry also submitted names of more than 150 probable GI products of different regions of Bangladesh. Earlier on February 19th, the High Court directed the government to make a list of probable GI products of Bangladesh. The High Court, the ca campaign for the first phase of the Upajala election is ending at midnight tonight. The polling areas have become heated with the last minute clashes and attacks. Candidates also have complaints about the electoral process. The local administration has warned that no violence will be tolerated in the elections. BNP Senior Joint Secretary General Ruhul Kabir Rizvi has alleged that none but relatives of MPs and ministers are getting the opportunity in the Op Opojela elections. He said this on Monday from a human chain formed in front of the National Press Club demanding release of BNP leaders including Begum Khaledazia. He said Awami League is repeatedly making false statements with regards to BNP for the sake of covering up their weaknesses. Rain is likely in different places across the country today also and the situation may continue for the next five to six days. The forecast was made by the meteorological department at a press conference on Monday. By this time, day's temperature will reduce by one to three degrees a day. A low may be created in the Bay of Bengal after May 15th. We'll be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching News 24 English Bulletin. The High Court has issued a ruling seeking to know why the inaction of the authorities in enacting environment-friendly laws and policies in cases of planting and felling of trees should not be declared illegal. At the same time, the rule wanted to know why environment-friendly policies should not be made in the field of planting and cutting. On Monday, the High Court bench comprising of Justice Naima Haider and Justice Kazi Zina Thok issued the rule. Earlier on May 5th, lawyer Tanvir Ahmed filed a petition with the High Court seeking a ban on tree cutting in the entire country, including the capital Dhaka, to protect the environment. The Forest Department has started monitoring the Shundarbon fires. They are now accompanied by forest guards, community patrolling groups and volunteer foresters, including the village Tiger Response Team. The Forest Department has been sprinkling water on the Amur Bunia Latifer Chora at Chantpai Range Jiudhara Station in Shundarbon East Forest Division since this morning. Earlier on Sunday afternoon, the Forest Department with at least two observer teams of 20 members started efforts to bring the fire under control. 
Five acres of forest land has been affected due to the fires. The information was revealed by Chief Forest Preservation Officer Amir Hussein Chaudhry. He said this at a press conference on Sunday night in Kulna. He also said a specialist committee has been formed to assess the loss of biodiversity. That's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.